I love it. How are you doing today? How is your world doing? Are you totally living your best life? Are you enjoying who you truly are? Today is really your day that you can just blossom to the fullest and be who you truly are with all your heart. You so deserve to be happy. You so deserve that you live your life your way. It's your life. You should totally live it your way. And today we are reading together Reality Transurfing in 70, 80 days by Vadim Zilla. And today is our day 53, shaping your own destiny. I am going to read through because it's very important. Everything that is here. When a person takes control into their own hands, their life is no longer dependent on circumstances. The little sheep of of the life can be treated in any direction away from the faith that is already predetermined for you. It is all very simple. Life is like a river. If you wrote about yourself, you can choose which direction in, one, in which you want to travel. If you simply give yourself up to the current you will have no choice but to float in the direction the current carries you. If you want karma, you will have karma. When you think that your life depends of, on some set of on some set of unforgiving circumstances of the mistakes of past lives, you bring that corresponding variant of your potential value future into physical reality. The will is yours. When you think that your fate depends on some set of unforgiving circumstances of the mistakes of past lives, you bring that corresponding variant of your potential future into physical reality. The will is yours. For you are the child of God. If you want to be master, then this too is in your power. The dual mirror will agree to anything corresponding variant of your potential future into physical reality. The will is yours. For you are the child of God. Child of God. If you want to be a master, then this too is in your power. The dual mirror will agree to anything. Suppose someone sets a goal which from a normal point of view seems difficult to achieve or totally impossible. The person strives towards their goal with all their heart, but the skeptical mind drops in and keeps asking the same old question. But how? In accordance with the principles of transurfic, at the stage when the means of achieving a goal are not yet clear, one has to take the unconventional step of forgetting about the means and concentrating on the end goal, as if it were already achieved. When you roll your the goal site in your mind, the layer of your personal work shifts in the variant space to the sector in which the goal is realized. The shift is subtitled but real. Your mind can but can doubt as much as as it wants. All that matters is that the diligently run the mental picture, mental picture of your goal slide. It is like being on a night time flight. The, the can barely tell. The plane is moving, but the engine is working, so it must be moving in the same way the mind runs the visualization of your goal, the engine, while outside of the lifting force, outer intention, pulls the layer of your world, the airplane, towards its destination. The boat wheel of intention is in your hands. Everything will turn out the way you want it to. So here is it's important that we are 
focusing on what we really truly desire and then that we are repeating our life in our minds, our heart desires again and again and again and that is important that we do that and then we are going to come to realization. So my loves, have a beautiful day, enjoy really who you are, love really who you are and just do more what really makes you happy and follow your peace and just a kind of set. Have a lovely day, bye!